I have not made a cooking video and it seems like a very very long time so today I thought I would show you um, how I make um, some comfort food I'm gonna make a hamburger potato casserole with onions and it's so simple it's very easy to make um, so let me show you what I'm doing In this cast iron skillet, um, I fried up about a pound of hamburger. It's just a little over a pound, and then I put salt and pepper, and that's it on that. And then in the same skillet, because I've already got the drippings from the hamburger that are still in this, and there's not a lot, so there was no need to drain it, I'm gonna take potatoes. This is um, approximately five potatoes. Let me show you. I cut them about this thickness. This is five medium potatoes. And basically you are just gonna layer these in the bottom of your skillet. Be careful because my skillet is still very very hot Let me get my towel Let me scoot this back just a little okay now I am not going to salt these potatoes um, but I am going to sprinkle some cracked black pepper on those and I have a package of French onion soup mix. It's just the dry package. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the whole package. I'm going to use about half. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of sprinkle that over the tops of the potatoes. Like I said, only about a half of the package. And then I'm going to take my ground beef and you're going to sprinkle that all over the top using about half of your ground beef. Then you're going to take your onions. Um, it calls for about two large onions. I did not have two white large onion so what I done was I have um, a decent sized white onion and one red onion. Now we're going to layer that on top of the ground beef. It looks like a lot of onions but it really does cook down quite a bit. back to the hamburger. You're going to put the remaining hamburger on top of that. I'm going to take some Worcestershire and I'm just going to put sprinkles Worcestershire over the top. I have a half cup of beef bouillon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to one can of cream of mushroom soup and then I'm going to stir this around. Before I put that over the top, I do want to sprinkle some cheese. I just have some Colby Jack shredded cheese that I'm going to sprinkle over the top. Let's 
let's do a little bit more black pepper because we really enjoy black pepper here. And once that's really good and incorporated together, we're just going to pour that over the top of this. Now, it doesn't look like it's going to be enough, but trust me, once this starts cooking down, um, it's plenty. this over the top a little bit and that's basically all you do you're going to cover this with aluminum foil and put it in the oven um, at 325 I know most things you cook at 350 but on this you want to cook it at 325 and this is going to cook for about an hour until those potatoes are fork tender it possibly could take longer, up to um, an hour and 15 minutes. But after an hour, I would take a fork, poke the potatoes, and see whether or not they're fork tender. If they are, then it's perfectly fine. And um, pull off the aluminum foil, and then maybe bake an additional five, six minutes until the top is kind of golden brown. So when this comes out, I will come back and I will show you what it looks like. I think I'm going to also make some cornbread and some um, French cut green beans to go along with this. So I'll be back when this comes out of the oven. And here is the finished product. And I made a small little pan of cornbread. But this ended up baking for about an hour and 30 minutes.